Hey everyone, John here from the Domish Group. I hope you had an awesome Thanksgiving weekend. My family and I took a trip to Georgetown, Kentucky. Mm, good times, great food. Speaking of which, did anyone else indulge a bit too much? I know I did, especially with that sweet potato casserole. Slightly burned, of course. Um, shifting gears, I saw something on social media that got me thinking. A friend of mine who's a firefighter in Utah shared a heartbreaking story of a home being destroyed by fire. It reminded me of what's truly important, family and the things that can't be replaced. Now let's dive into some real estate topics. There's been a buzz about BlackRock and Wall Street buying up all the homes in the United States. Well, this isn't exactly the case. Check this out. There are around 82 million single family homes in the country and only a small percentage of them are owned by big institutions. So take those headlines with a grain of salt. So if you're looking to invest, maybe consider connecting with mom and pop investors who own 80% of the homes for rent out there. I recently closed on a seller finance deal on a multifamily property, and it's been a game changer for me and my perspective. Next up, selling in 2024. Should you wait for summer? Well, if you have to sell, go for it. There's still demand, but waiting might not be your best move. Presidential election cycles bring uncertainty, especially for those with government-related jobs. Now, quick mortgage update. Rates on a $500,000 home, who can find one of those around here, are at 7.676%, down a bit from two weeks ago. It's not a massive drop, but it's a good thing. Thanks for hanging in there with me. If you have any questions or just want to chat, hit me up. Coffee, Zoom, good old-fashioned in-person meeting, I'm there. If you don't get my e-newsletter each Tuesday around noon, I would encourage you to subscribe. Send me a message with your info and I'll get you added immediately. We dig in a bit more on the newsletter in case you're looking for a bit more meat on the bones content. Join me next week where we'll look at three questions sellers should be asking and of course I'll answer them for you. That and more. See ya.